Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I want to show you how to install PyCharm, one of the most used and one of the most popular IDEs out there. Um, but you may ask, what is an IDE? IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. So remember, Python is a language like English or Spanish or Japanese, so you can write it anywhere, in a notebook, on a whiteboard, uh, on a computer or on a wall if you want to. It's always going to be the same language in the same way. But there is a wide variety of applications for writing Python code and each one offers advantages and disadvantages. We call these applications IDEs because they provide an environment that is integrated for you to be able to write and develop your code. These applications are virtual environments that integrate all of Python's functionalities so that you can develop code in them. But a good IDE does things like assisting you with code structure, so helps you to structure your code better, helps you to detect and resolve errors by debugging, and also allows you to run simulations and more. So this is why PyCharm has attracted a lot of developers. And I'm just going to show you how to install it today. And from there on in my upcoming videos, I'm going to show you how to start developing in Python using PyCharm. Okay, first things first, I just want you to type PyCharm in Google and go to the jetbrains.com. Head to the website of jetbrains.com and on the very main page, you will see this download button that automatically detects what kind of um, operating system you're on. I'm on a Mac. So if I press download, that will take me to either the paid version, which is a professional on the left, or the community version is, you know, for people like yourself and I, that we do our own thing. So um, this one is free. The professional one is not. If you're on Windows, you will be clicking on Windows. If you're on Linux, you will click on Linux. But because I'm on Mac OS, I'll just click on download here. This starts download downloading PyCharm on my computer. The download is complete at the bottom left. I'm just going to click on it. That will take me to the installation page. Let me just bring it over on this one. Uh, it popped onto the other screen. So I'll just, oops, I'll just grab and drag, drop it in the applications and you can see that it's just going to continue copying the files. Now it's writing the files onto my computer and it's done. Um, I'm just going to open PyCharm now. It might pop up to my other screen. I'll bring it over if it does. So when you first open PyCharm, you might see a screen like this. This is essentially asking you if you're going to be building a project right now, say if you're writing a game uh, today, where do you want that project to be written? So currently, it is sitting in my user's account under my name on the desktop under a folder again my name my code and a python project of my interest so i can change this to my game project so do i need an do i need a virtual environment yes for now but i'll talk about it later in a, in a different video and my base interpreter will be based on python 3.9 and i'll leave the other options to be as they are and i'm just going to say create now pycharm is asking me do you want this in a new window or a same window i'm just like open it in the same window so it's going to make a new um, folder called my game in pycharm we don't really call them folders we call them directories don't really bother about this gibberish on this screen you can easily get rid of it but for now i'll just leave it there um, and what you can see here to the top left is a directory called my game, which sits on the desktop, as you can imagine. And it has a virtual environment um, directory. Again, there is nothing in it yet, but um, I will start adding packages to that. I'll talk about it later. And there is this main.py Python file, which is here on the screen. So if I control all and just get rid of it. So now my main.py is an, is an empty canvas for me to write. If I go print hello world and if I run it, so how you run it, there is this run on your menu and you just go either this run or that run. They are different, but for now, because that says run, if you run it, I will run the main and I want the main to run, I'll click on the top one. So let's go run main and you can see that I have hello world printed here. So. I'm writing my code up here, up the top, and I'm getting the results here. But my own personal preference is to put this um, uh, terminal on the, on the sidebar. So if I go to move to um, right button, 
I will have the result printed here, which is, I think, I find it a bit easier to look at. So let me just make this smaller and make this a bit bigger. So if I wanted to print something else, I could, I will just say, print high so many times, and again, go run and run main. So you can see that high here. So what is the difference between the top run and the bottom run? Well, here I have only one .py file open. So whichever I click doesn't really matter. It will run the same thing. But if I had many Python files open here on the left, I would see a list of them that I could select which one to run. So as an example, if I in this directory make a new Python file and make it my game file. So now you can see that I have one main.py and my game.py. I have two tabs, main and my game. In the main, my game, I'll say print, this is my game. And if I run this, you can see that if I click on this one, it will still run main. I don't want that. I'll click on this one and say run. I don't want you to run main. I want you to run my game. I'll click that and you can see this is my game. That's what I had here. Okay, this was a really quick introduction to PyCharm. I'm going to start building up on this and making a full Python course. If you like this video, I would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. That's a very small gesture from your side, but it helps me a lot. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned and bye.